point by serial correlation coefficient is one of the statistical tests that can be used to examine the relationship between two variables one of these variables is discrete dichotomous which mean it is two categories dichotomous mean two two categories like uh, yes or no life or dead pregnant or not pregnant and the other variables is continuous whether it is a ratio or intervals but it is continuous and it has to be normally distributed and lacks outliers so the test will examine the strength of the relationship the direction of the relationship and will determine the significance of association between the two variables by producing a p-value so the point by serial correlation coefficient in fact is based on using the Pearson correlation coefficient so it is considered to be a parametric test and the way to do that in SPSS here in this data view I have two data two set of data two variables one is labeled gender the other one is labeled score the gender is from one to two one is representing male and two representing female as clearly shown here in the value and as we can see here that the gender is a category so it's nominal it's either male or female uh, the score is numerical so it's a scale from zero to a hundred and in this example we want to do a statistical test to determine whether there is a relationship between the gender and the score uh, or, uh, and find the correlation and the co correlation coefficient for this type of data since we have here a dichotomous discrete dichotomous variable which has two categories and a continuous variable and then the way to do that is to use the point by serial correlation coefficient based on person correlation coefficient to do that is to click on analyze scroll down to correlate then click on pi variate pi mean two variates mean uh, two variables here in this window i'm going to look for correlation between gender so i'm going to move the gender to the variables variables and i'm going to move the score to the variables in the options and i'm going to also take the statistics for means and standard deviation click on continue and I make sure that the correlation coefficient here we use is the Pearson for this data to test and I will stick with the two-tailed test of significant to get a p-value and if I click on OK here in this output of SPSS we have two tables the first one is descriptive showing the mean of the scores and the number of cases as we can see here 86 cases the second table is the correlation coefficient correlating the data of the gender with the score again as we can see here there is really a strong statistical association between gender and score as the value the r value is 0.87 and this is a really a strong relationship and it is a positive relationship and the statistical significance the b value is less than less than 0.05 so here we can clearly see that there is a clear association between the gender and the score 
uh, and it is statistically significant and the correlation uh, is positive. To understand better the meaning of this table, I'm going to draw a scatter plot to look at the data and the uh, um, diagram of the scatter plot will from it we will determine the correlation between the gender and the score so if i click on the graph here and i scroll down to legacy and then to the scatter dot i'm going to select the simple scatter and i'm going to click on define i'm going to put the gender at the x axis and the score at the y axis and if i click on ok a scatter plot will be generated as we can see here it's one that represent male two represent females and the y axis is the scores again as we can see here that the scores increases or the female have a higher scores than male scores so there is a higher proportion of females score comp compared to male i'm going also to double click on this graph i'm going to add to it trend line and as we can see here from the trend line, if I just untick the, uh, this label and click on apply and then shrink this and then shrink this, close this. Again here, the output has, SBSS output has drawn a line here to represent that there is a linear relationship between gender and score and the more the uh, so the gender moves from male to female there is an increase in the score and this relationship is a positive relationship and a significant relationship of as we determined here 0.88 so this is the way to do a correlation between two variables one of these variables are discrete dike and the other one is continuous variable the way to do that is to do a point by serial correlation coefficient based on Pearson equation or Pearson method